Well, if you have or are experiencing joint pain, you know how frustrating it can be to treat. So who should you turn to and what are your options for treatment? Dr. Kipling Sharp is the medical director of the Total Joint Repre Replacement Program at Mercy Gilbert Medical Center, and they specialize in joint pain. They've dedicated an entire department to helping you get rid of that pain once and for all. And you also happen to be the doctor for the Chicago Cubs as well. Yeah, I'm the, uh, the team doctor here in Mesa for the Cubs and That's get involved awesome. in spring training. That's awesome. Well, we're talking about spring training today, so it's is perfect. All right, let's talk about the Joint Commission Designated Total Joint Center. What does that mean to me? The Joint Commission is kind of like the good housekeeping seal of, of approval for hospitals. And most of the hospitals in the Valley have Joint Commission approval for their hospital, but we went a step further and got accreditation for our hip and knee replacement. That means we met certain standards. We have a program in place that provides quality, measures quality, has a continuous improvement program. Through that, we've really improved what we can provide for our joint replacement patients as far as a lower infection rate. We've got the lowest in the state right now. Oh. We have a, a lower length of stay. We have very, very high patient satisfaction scores in the high 90s. We have uh, very uh, um, effective pain management program. Again, we get very high ratings from our patients in that. And that's because we've got this, this uniform program a pathway, if you will. So you have certain standards that you have to meet and keep up with and maintain. Yes. And they oversee that. That is very, very important to, to a lot of patients. Let's talk about joint pain and how do you, how do you get joint pain to begin with? Well, joint pain can uh, come from a variety of things. You can have a sports injury mm -hmm. um, that causes acute pain. You can have chronic things uh, like arthritis, fractures from injury, mm -hmm. inflammatory diseases like rheumatoid arthritis. And, and carrying too much weight can be hard on your joints, too. Yeah, absolutely. Now, when you have this type of joint pain, um, there, first of all, you, we all wait for it just to go away. Sometimes it doesn't. Then what do we do? How do we treat it? Well, of course, the first step is to, to be evaluated by a doctor. Now, a lot of times your primary care doctor is a good place to start, mm -hmm. but there are specialists um, like rheumatologists uh, who specialize in, in arthritis and joint pains and mm -hmm. orthopedic surgeons like myself who, mm -hmm. who treat it. Things that we can do would be injections, physical therapy, prescribing medications, and if those fail, surgery is often necessary. And, I mean, naturally, you're always wanting to find all of these other options. Surgery is the last of the options. Right. But, but knowing that you have a program that has, has really met so many high standards should make a patient feel a whole lot better right, I think, when that decision comes. Yes, I think knowing that there's a, a, a program in place that's, that's been looked at by an outside agency that says, hey, this pr place is interested in quality, it's providing quality, and continuous improvement. It isn't just about meeting the standard today, it's about continually getting better. We're never good enough. We always want to be better. I like that. And you also offer a lot of free classes and seminars so people can learn more about your program. Right, we do. We have um, a program where physicians speak every month uh, to the community and we also have a, a nurse educator that uh, provides free programs and it's all available through the resource link at Dignity Health. Yeah, it's all about education and really empowering yourself, wouldn't you think? Well, I, I love it when my patients are educated. It makes yeah. them a better patient because they know what to expect. When they know what to expect, there's not a surprise. Surprises slow the recovery. Oh. So when people know what to expect, they do a much better job of getting over whatever it is they're dealing with. Yeah, and you're, you're encouraging your patients to educate themselves, and I really like that. And here's how you can do that. Um, here's some information. As we said, it's Dignity Health Total Joint Program. They offer free seminars and classes, so you can do that. It's also an opportunity f for you to find an orthopedic, orthopedic specialist. The phone number, 1-877-728-728. 5414. You can also find more information at resource link at dignityhealth.org. Thank you, Dr. Sharp. You're welcome.